Find the equivalent resistance between terminals X and Y. This problem is considered easy. Give it a try, lock your answer in the comments, and keep watching to see the solution. We can start with the obvious simplification. The four 10 ohm resistors in the circular path are in series. So we can lump them together in a single 40 ohm resistor. And now the question is, is this 40 ohm resistor in parallel with the 10 ohm resistor next to X? Is it in series with anything? In fact, neither. The circular path is actually completely useless. If there was a voltage source driving current flow from X to Y, then the current leaving terminal X will reach terminal Y in its entirety, and the circular path is completely redundant. Here's why. Say that the current were to split at the junction and some part were to circulate this path. The starting point and the ending point are the same. The potential difference between a point and itself is zero, and when there's no voltage, there's no current. So no current traverses the circular path. If you're not convinced, then we can redraw this circuit like this. It's electrically equivalent. The 40 ohm path can be drawn as a circle, as a rectangle, as a triangle. For all we care, this is electrically equivalent. But the advantage of this schematic is that it shows more clearly that the 40 ohm resistor is in effect parallel with a short, and so it'll just get shorted out. You can think of it as product over sum, so the equivalent resistance of this is just zero. No matter which way you think about it, we basically have two 10 ohm resistors in series between X and Y. So the overall resistance between the two terminals is 10 plus 10 or 20 ohms, making the correct answer D. Could you figure it out?